Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Metroid Adventure. This great and unknown place in Bubble Land. Which at least we found bubbles. And this may not be happening here. And the birds say hi, of course. And that definitely wasn't very good. Maybe I can do it from here. Good grief. Everything goes wrong when I record these as SNES, NES hacks. Yeah, there's a big difference between 2D and 2D here. Oh, come on. I know you can do that, Samus. There we go. So, yeah. We're just getting around without high jump. Figuring things out. la dee da Zap that. So, this is uh, another one of these. And I can't destroy this dude. Oh, well, that wasn't so hard. What's in here? Big bubbles. I'm... Ouch. Good. I don't want to be in here. Get out of here. Oh, great. Crumble block things. Well, these aren't crumble blocks. Shop block things, whatever they are. So, I am actually very interested to see... what's all in these hacks because like I said this is probably the, about the seventh I played haven't completed one yet I have these Metroid hacks here and this is wonderful I could use Viria another energy tank something period and I'm falling here's a door it's probably fake acid, acid lava yeah acid's so red I am so with it right now. Yeah, I am very interested to see what all's done with no oh, more missiles. Metroid, this game because like it's super. It seems to go based on or like certain periods of time where it seemed like for a while hacks were more focused on being hard. Hacks were more focused on just being easy. Hacks were more focused on exploration. Hacks were more focused on whatever. It just seems that they're... I think nowadays with Super Metro attacks now it's become more well-rounded. But you can kind... If you play a lot of the hacks from the earlier hacks and then play up through the time, you kind of see how things progress. Just based on knowledge of the game and what you can do with it. And there's nothing here. Those tiles are not right to bomb. You could see the patterns in the tiles when I believe I knew I said that. Just reiterating it. Some more missiles. So yeah, it's and I'm kind of wanna see what everyone everyone. Or what the people who have hacked made hacks of this game have come up with. See if it's kind of interesting. And that's one of the ways I get a lot of my ideas. Well, not everyone. Most of the good ideas come from other people. <laughs> but... <laughs> but it's... Like, I see how some people do some things and their hacks. And I'm just like... Well, maybe I could use that somehow. Maybe I could approve upon that. And so I'm kind of interested to see what all's possible with... And I don't think I'm getting up there. Like, what's been done with Metroid? Because I figure earlier hacks... And with this game in particular, I already most consider it really hard. And it seems to be the case from what I've read about a lot of these hacks. They're designed to be harder supposed to take the original and make it even harder, which the original wasn't that hard. Personal that's my personal opinion, but No oh, hey. Is this high jump? Ouch. Where is this Oh, there's a door here. Open up. Don't be fake. High jump. Oh well wait a second. 
Is this? Oh, well, there's something back here. You can see the pattern. There's no big bubbles in this path. Wait a minute. Okay, this is... Okay. Here's why I'm a bit flabbergasted right now. That was high jump. Didn't I do the bomb jump climb? For palace offer. Or not? But didn't I do the little cheap game engine physics bomb jump climb to get up there to get to high jump? And of course other people are now talking to people. Oh boy. No wonder the birds are going off. So yeah, I don't <laughs> You know Oh hey, there are bubbles here. Green bubbles. And orange bubbles. I wish that orange pot was used for bubbles in this too. Oh. And of course more bad enemy placement in the original Metroid. The original Metroid. But yeah, before I even get to that, the high jump still bugs me. Did I really have to bomb jump up to that? Bomb jump. Jump off the explosion. And that energy top disappeared. Just to get high jump. Because if I did, that's messed up. That is really, really messed up. And now people are vacuuming. Yay. Nut. You only take one shot. Can use your refill. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Refilling in Metroid's not much. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of bugs and stuff with Metroid. A lot of enemies that will hit you through doors, like these in particular, especially in Kraid's area. Because they're so close to the door, they're like spaced just right, so you can run to the door, they'll start coming out, you go through the door, and then they fly at you and hit you. Happens all the time in Kraid's area. And that's really annoying. But it happens a lot otherwise in general. And it's not fun. But there's that. There's also the bad jumping physics and morph ball stuff. Which is fun to abuse and get places, but... Which apparently allows you to get high jump. I am so, Why would you require... Because I'm almost positive I had to do that thing to get up there. Why would you require that for high jump? Nothing here. I don't know. That's not right. No. You never require. It's like it's Super Metroid. There's some things. Like even things that are programmed in the game you don't require. Like Mock Ball. It's not a glitch, it's programmed in the game. You still don't require the player to have to do that to beat the game. Maybe for 100%, but I'm pretty sure I'll need high jump at some point here. I'm doing what in the world? And there's another bomb. Good grief. Oh yeah, and other bad enemy placement, like with these things coming out the other side. Back to the right. These things will often smack you right in the face before you even have control over Samus again. Again, not good. Don't have enemies that you can't avoid going through doors. If it hits you right away and you can't do anything about it, move it. And there's a lot of fake lava around here. I also like the NES game because you can get away with a lot of what we would consider tiling errors in Super. Like, if you notice the... Get off here. If you notice the lava down there next to the bubbles, 
The bubbles are all circular and stuff, and lava's just flat everywhere. And this is... That's just where I was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just up there. I don't want to back up there. I think I was just up there. And if I wasn't, well, I'm even more lost than I thought I was. And that's a big bubble down there. We're not going there. Ouch. So there is absolutely squat this way. That is what I call... There should be an item down here. Of course, I don't know how Metroid would handle... more items. Like, I already know what it'll do with energy tanks, because there's... You have a limit of six energy tanks. But there's seven, or actually eight, I believe, in the game. If you collect the seventh... And I believe... Now I don't remember if it's seven or eight. But there's more than six. There's at least seven. If you collect that seventh, there's... It just refills your energy. It doesn't give you a new tank. So I already know what would happen with that. But for missiles, I'm not sure... What would happen if you went above... 100% or whatever. And that's something that I want to see hacked into Metroid is a percentage thing for item collection. I was just back here, wasn't I? I was either back here or I'm way lost. I don't even know. Oh, good grief. Oh, hey, big green bubbles. I don't think I've seen these. Get away from me. Hi, Garuda. I always thought those things in the, like, the Garuda... Pirates... Or what's their faces in Zelda. They were all very familiar. And I don't... Where in the world am I? I don't... I am not catching something here. I am like super lost. And of course there's nothing on the ceiling. And of course I can't even reach it. And that really didn't help at all. Let's join our energy draining services. Oh, good grief, I'm... This is not good. Get away from me. Well, you can... You can leave a big energy dot. Or just five, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know where I'm at. I'm lost. I got back in green bubble area and I have no idea where. <laughs> I want to say so far though, that's still better than pretty much all the other hacks I played so far because those ones No, I wanna destroy you. So you can leave me delicious energy. Yeah, I'm lost, but Oh, and I don't even get to collect energy, thanks. Alright. What's up here? Oh, there's stuff up here. Oh, maybe... Oh, a door! Maybe a screw attack. Okay. And I'm really... almost dead. This is not screw attack, this is... orange bricks. And strawberries! Yeah, these things have all kinds. Of... Where are some of these names I got for stuff came from? I don't even remember. And that yes. Well, maybe this is the bug I was refilling at before. Maybe I'm not lost anymore. 
I really have no idea, but... And there's all kinds of noises going going off right now. Sounds like somebody's messing with their battery backup or something. Okay. I wish there was like a recording switch I had in my house where I could just flip and everything else would go quiet. Not gonna happen. I can still wish though. So. Yes, I want more energy. I know this is everybody's favorite thing to watch. It's like bomb jumping in Super Metroid. Just going, <laughs> I'm just, I'm accomplishing something, but it's not something you want to see. Which I could. Okay, people have asked me this before, and I don't know if I've ever explained it in a video. That's like why. Don't I cut anything out? I'm just wandering around aimlessly. Like especially in some hacks, sort of like Z Factor, or Super Zero Mission. Or I'm just lost, I have no idea where I'm going. It's like, why don't you cut this stuff out? That is because I don't like. I personally would rather watch everything in the run. Oh, give me that. Oh, hey, give me that. Give me that. I don't need it. But I would personally rather watch everything in the run, and I don't want to do a run where someone could have the question, you know, how did you do that? How did you get from here to there? Like, because it may take a different path. There may be something I haven't shown off before on that other path, or something like that. There's just something that could happen going around and since I commentate through the whole thing, there's that part too. But I mostly do, do don't cut stuff out. Get out. Good lord. I just filled this energy thing up. But I don't cut the stuff out because it's... I want people to be able to see everything that happened in the run. And... That is a door. It's a door in a wall. There is a missile door in this wall. There is a missile door in this wall. 